Hi, I'm Siddharth. Uh, I'm a senior solutions architect with Amazon Web Services, and along with Sriram today, who heads up product uh, for Grab Geo and, uh, uh, and Fulfillment, uh, we're going to be talking to you about how you can harness the power of location data. They say you save the best for last, so we're going to try and get you out of here, but I'm also not convinced uh, generative AI uh, versus Grab Maps is something that we need to be pitting, to, pitting against each other. In the morning, Connor said that there are 600 million uh, people who live in Southeast Asia. What's amazing is that a year ago in 2022, 460 million people were online. And what's even more incredible than that is that that's 100 million more people in the last three years through COVID than before that. Despite the fact that the, there are strong headwinds, the demand for a lot of these services is extremely high. And a lot of this demand is a result of the retail e-commerce sector hospitality, and the financial services. What a lot of our customers are telling us is that being able to use a lot of this data is key to a successful business. We heard earlier today from Chris just how much the amount of data is growing, and driving insights from this data is extremely, extremely hard. What makes it even harder are the silos that get created within the organizations. The first silo is the data silo. In case of the data silos, the data that needs to be used isn't available where it needs to be used. So where all of your different applications, all the different microservices aren't sending data to your, to your data lake. The people silos, where the people who need access to this data don't have access to it. And finally, business silos, where it becomes extremely hard to balance the cost and manage legacy systems. We at AWS try to help our customers implement a modern data strategy. In this, Data from all of your different sources are flowing into your data lake. From this data lake, you're able to use analytics and visualization tools to be able to drive insights. And based on these insights, you're able to create ML models, hopefully not foundational ones, uh, to make your applications a lot better. And at the center of all of this is the right level of security and governance to make sure that the people, applications, and devices have access to all of this data. And one incredible story is how Grab was able to use the data that they get from uh, their application to build Grab Maps. And in order to talk more about it, I'd like to invite Sriram onto stage. Thank you, Sid. Thank you, Sid. I lead the Geo and fulfillment teams. We build maps. We run the marketplace, um, which ensures people who use apps for booking deliveries and food uh, and taking rides have a good experience. You might have heard our CPO, Philip Kandal, talk about you know, Grab's overall mission. Right? Grab's mission of economic empowerment for uh, millions of entrepreneurs in Southeast Asia. Right? Grab Maps' vision in enabling that is to build the best map platform of choice for Southeast Asia and possibly beyond at some point. Right? And while we build these maps, they're being built simultaneously by our consumers, our driver partners, our merchant partners, right? With every single interaction that they have on the Grab app and every single transaction that they do. In the next few slides, I'll talk a bit more on why we built Grab maps, right? Um, what we gain from it, what are some of the benefits Grab and our users get from it, right? How AWS as a partner helps us manage data at scale so that we can build these maps. And then lastly, how the broader developer ecosystem in Southeast Asia can benefit from Grab Maps. OK, why did we build Grab Maps? Uh, Philip talked about this a little bit. Right? I'll maybe start with an anecdote. A few years back, we were on one of these immersions, and a driver partner asked me, hey, can Grab give out mountain bikes? And we were like, OK, thank you for being a driver partner and supporting Grab, but why a mountain bike? And it seemed we were routing him through a dirt road, through a little hill to deliver food to someone. Right? And those were the kind of experiences that were because this part of the world was relatively undermapped back then. Not now. Four-wheelers is what global maps were built for. We know that many Southeast Asian cities run on two-wheelers. Right? Uh, POIs. Missing POIs is one thing, but uh, providers have POIs at the granularity of here is Changi Airport. But what we really want is here is arrival hall A, and here is door number three, because that's where the driver and the passenger meet each other. Right? That was not available. Right? 
Plus, we know our region is one of the fastest growing regions in the world. New businesses, new, new transport systems, new roads, comes up every single day. Right? And for providers, this is not the primary market. Capturing all of that and providing it in a map is just not possible. Whereas for us, where millions of our drivers rely on our maps every day, we absolutely need to. Right? Saying we want to build maps is one thing, but why did we think we could do it? Right? Um, mapping is expensive. Right? It's, it's, uh, it takes a while. Right? But we had two strong reasons. One, the problem was important enough for us to solve, both for our consumers, our drivers and merchants, as well as for Grab as a business. Right? Second, we believed we had all the key ingredients to be able to solve it. Right? Now, as you can see, Grab has reached tremendous scale in the region. Right? We operate in hundreds of cities. Uh, we have millions of driver partners on the road every single day. And that coupled with amazing technology, we were able to create a flywheel of location data and services that constantly improves right? and improves it for our users as well as for us. Now, how do we map Southeast Asia our own way? It starts with this insane amount of real-time signal that we collect. Right? This is just a snippet of one type of uh, signal data, which is GPS pings from our drivers, 500,000 of them every single day. It generates two terabytes of data a day, if you will. Right? Next, because we have this rich partner network of delivery partners, driver partners, merchant partners, right? We ask them to help us fill in gaps that they see in the real world that our maps don't have. Right? Imagery, places of interest, parking lots, and more. Then lastly, we add in a robust end-to-end -end map making stack, which includes custom built hardware, like the Carta Cam that you see here, uh, tools that work seamlessly across all the different consumers and users of our platform, as well as the providers of data. Right? And then a set of processes that we have fine-tuned for our needs and our use cases. What are some of the results we have seen? Right? This is a map of Jakarta, evolving over a period of a couple of years. Right? So you can see the number of roads that were unmapped in 2019 versus where we landed in 2020. And this is not even the latest, essentially. Right? It shows the scale of the problem that we faced. That these were roads that our drivers lived in or they had to go to deliver food for someone else. Right? They were just not on maps. Right? Now they are. And this is the opportunity that we went after. So this is not done yet. We have hundreds of more cities. Um, we have a lot of great coverage in the capital cities and areas where Grab operates. But as Southeast Asia grows, Grab Maps will continue to serve and build maps for those new cities. Now, Next, let me talk a little bit about uh, how AWS helps us manage and build one specific um, Grab Map service, which is traffic. Right? Here, uh, it shows how we collect that 500,000 uh, things a second of GPS data that flows into Kafka. Historical data is stored on S3 archives. Right? We conflate all of this with map data to create real-time traffic historical traffic patterns, and congestion levels. Right? We use uh, an AI feature store, or a model feature bank, to do data validation and processing, uh, to do model training, and model evaluation, and model validation. We monitor for drift in these models, because conditions in real life change. Traffic patterns change during the month of Ramadan, for instance. Right? We retrain these models so that they stay updated. We then feed the output of these models to our upstream systems, like allocation, routing, pricing. So many of the decisions that you see in your Grab apps are driven by these models, if you will. Right? And also display. So if you used a Grab to get here, and if it's traffic and you see a red segment of the road, that's the traffic model saying that there is traffic there. As you can see, there's multiple AWS infrastructure pieces that we have used. They have helped immensely and wrangle this insane amount of data that we have to wrangle and turn it into a usable service for our users. Right? This is an extremely flexible and powerful setup. What it translates into is it gives certainty assurance to our customers. For example, on our food delivery orders, <laughs> it's an impressive stat, 90% of our orders arrive on time or slightly earlier. 
that's because we are able to predict exactly how long it's going to take, even with real-time traffic conditions changing as they are. Right? And so this is the infrastructure that powers something like that. A little more of a tangible benefit. Right? Having our own maps means that our services are optimized for what real life looks like on the ground in Southeast Asian cities. Right? We can match riders and drivers better. We can batch food orders more efficiently. And we have shortened delivery times and ride times significantly. So this 7% increase in productivity that you see uh, for our driver partners who do transport rides, right, it translates to one and a half minutes of savings for them on each ride. Now, if you extrapolate it out to the entire 5 million odd drivers that we have on our network, you can imagine the amount of savings in time that you know, our driver partners have had. What it means is they can fulfill more rides in a day and earn additional income. Uh, this is something that you might already be familiar with, but just to recap, Grab Maps powers all of Grab's uh, services on the Grab app, right? Um, again, the scale 800 billion API calls here is only for our internal use cases. This is in no way you know, inclusive of our partner offerings via AWS and ALS. As soon as you open up the Grab app and start searching for a location, and we let you find what it is, right? we give you assurance with, hey, this is how long it's going to take your driver to get to pick you. Here is how long it's going to take you to reach your destination. We offer navigation for our drivers. Uh, we route them through roads we know are safe, are free of construction, are free of traffic, if possible. And lastly, as Grab evolves as the super app, newer use cases of finding things around you emerge. And Grab Maps is the one that makes sure that you are able to find those. How can Grab Maps power your business? What we strongly believe is the path we took to build Grab Maps, the challenges that we faced and overcome, we are not alone. Many businesses in our part of the world are facing similar challenges, and we would love to be able to help with the Grab Maps offering that we have. Right? We are offering base map data directly uh, over eight. AWS APIs, and for anyone who has custom needs that go beyond whatever the APIs offer, please come talk to us. We have an entire map making stack uh, that we can figure out if it can best help you. We've collaborated with AWS and depend upon their reach, their amazing infrastructure capabilities, their customer focus to be able to bring this rich set of solutions to all of you over the Amazon Location Services offering. Lastly. Thank you for letting me share about Grab Maps at this forum. Right. Please scan the QR code or reach out to us if you want to learn more about Grab Maps. We'll also be hanging around outside the hall if anyone wants to chat. I'll now hand it back to Sid to talk more about the recent integration of AWS and Grab Maps. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Sriram. It would be absolutely amazing if all of us had access to an army of people walking around with cameras and converting all of those images into maps. But because we can't do that, I'm really happy to announce that earlier this year, Grab Maps partnered with Amazon Location Services and, as, and to be able to bring all of this data in the hands of all of our customers. With Grab Maps, you have hyper-localized and up-to-date data, as you heard from Sriram. This data it can be used by our customers to get more accurate mapping information, much better points of interest, and routes between place A, B. With Amazon Location Services, you can also uh, have trackers and geofences that, can be used, that are already being used by our customers to do some really innovative things. One of the things Sriram and I were talking about is how, by having better addresses, they're able to save up to two minutes per every single delivery. Right? on average. With in retail hospitality, we've seen our, our, our offline stores being able to get much better footfall information right? as a result of this. You can also do targeted advertisements. When a new mall opens up and there's a, uh, there's a store in there that, you've, that you really like, you can use the uh, location data to be able to tell your customers about the fact that the store is now open or has a new discount. And in the financial sector, we're, showing, we're seeing our customers use this location data as another vector to, make, to prevent fraud. We heard about how Grab is managing hundreds of millions of API calls 
They have over two terabytes of data being generated every day and half a million GPS pings coming in every second. They're able to do all of this because we at AWS uh, are doing the heavy lifting and, uh, and Grab doesn't have to think about any of the underlying uh, heavy lifting themselves. In addition, companies across Southeast Asia are now able to use Grab's map and the hyper-local data to drive their businesses. So my question to everyone over here is how can you combine location data with your in-app analytics to drive much better value for your end customers? If you want to learn more about uh, how to use uh, any of the Amazon location services, go check out Skill Builders. I know you've heard about this quite often. All of this is there. Uh, and thank you so much. Please remember to fill out the survey. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas.